in addition to having a scholarly volume, I didn't want to be dry. I didn't want to be a kind of deathly tome where you have the information but there's no pleasure because pleasure is so important in my life. So I wanted entries that were fun, entries that were quirky, that would make people say, wow, that is really bizarre. I love stuff like that. But I also felt that when we're talking about sugar, sugar has such a dark history that we also have to remember that our pleasure comes at a cost. There's such a strong desire for the substance and it had to be produced very laboriously. So really, beginning in the 17th century, slaves were brought over from Africa to the West Indies and then to the United States to work the sugar plantations. Very grueling work. In the US, we tend to think of, the, of slavery in relation to cotton because that's sort of what's in our mind in the American South, but there were also a lot of uh, sugar plantations, but even more so in the Caribbean. And uh, these canes, I don't know if you've ever been in a sugar cane field, it's a beautiful grasp, it's very sharp. And it, it's terrible, terrible work. And then the refining, even in the first stages. Uh, there's equipment that's very dangerous, there are all kinds of fumes, and uh, a lot of people became very wealthy on the backs of people slaving for others, so that's pretty bad. The other thing that is dark about it, I would say, is um, people's proclivity for it leading to excess consumption. And there's a very interesting entry on addiction, which one of the things I learned from this, and I learned so much, I mean, it was just a thrilling project for me. But it's not so simple as, oh, if you eat too much sugar, you'll, you'll get addicted. The problem is the refining, the super refining of it, because uh, the example that um, the author gave is that if you have a coca leaf and you have that and, and you brew it in tea or you make a beverage from it, it's a mild stimulant. It's very appealing and it's not going to really do you harm. But once you refine it down into a powder that's very strong, well, there's cocaine and that is problematic, and it's the same with sugar.